the show where we give out prizes to you. <clears throat> this, is, uh, this is a stalling moment here so the, uh, the tech crew can reset the stage. Um, but during that time, I will be asking you CES trivia. And if you get the right answer, Pamela, the actual showgirl, will bring you not just one, but a whole armful of presents. This is good for one right answer right here, this whole stack of stuff. All right, so please, uh, first of all, I'm going to bring up the lights. Um, and second of all, please raise your hand before you answer. If you shout it out, uh, it won't work. Okay, so this is the 50th anniversary of CES, if you can believe that. So let's go for a blast from the past. How many booths were at the first CES in New York City? Sir? 12. 12? No. <laughs> Sir? 37. 37? Nope. 22. What? 22. 22? Nope. 100? Nope. 47. 47. 58. You guys don't know, do you? You're just guessing? <laughs> Why don't we just go one, two, three, four, five? All right, black t shirt. 3,800? 3,800! No, that's this year. <laughs> Sir, with a hat. Oh my God, you're just going to guess till you get it? Yes. What? 100? No. 200. Warmer. 250 is the correct answer. And ma'am, your prize, prize package includes an Omron blood pressure monitor for your wrist, a tracker thing to put on your keys so you can find it if it's within Bluetooth range, a Speck phone cover, a sleep dot sleep tracker. If you lose your sleep, this will find it. Um, and you get a drone. Woohoo! Come and get it. Excellent. All right. Remaining in historical land, how many pixels thick was the border around the screen of the original Palm Pilot? How many pixels thick was the border around the screen image? Yes. Ten? No. Two? No. 116 by 160 was the size of the screen, but not the width of its border. Ma'am? Four? Nope. Yep. Two has already been guessed. Asked and answered. Yes. Six? No. But you have a huge whopping clue sitting here. He said the entire screen was 160 pixels square. That's like one letter of the Chicago font, okay? Yes. One? one? Nope. Think about one. If the border were one pixel thick, how many pixels would you be losing from screen content? One on each side, that's two, plus a gap pixel on each side, that's four. Yes? 0. 0.7? 0. 0.7 pixels? No such thing. Um, <laughs> two? No. It's been guessed twice now, sir. Yeah. Twelve. Guys. Guys, if four is too high Zero. and two is too... Who said that? Zero. There was no border on the screen. They didn't have enough pixels. All right. Well done, Suman. All right. And his prize package includes bath soap? No, no, no. Soundbot waterproof speaker, uh, Chipotle Plus burrito finder. Oh, no. Chipolo Plus. Another Bluetooth tracker. Another beautiful spec phone case. A smart pill box. Smart pill box? <laughs> Are you on any meds, sir? Okay. A digit grip to keep you from dropping your phone. And a smart baseball hat? <laughs> it's called a brain stimulator. <laughs> Clearly, sir, you don't need one. Don't. <laughs> Congratulations. Cool. Thank you. All right. The Internet of Things, as you've just seen by that awards package, is out of control. Everybody is making everything Internet of Thingable. Uh, at this moment, you can go on Amazon, I kid you not, and buy an Internet of Things egg tray for your refrigerator. Holds a dozen e eggs from anywhere in the world. You can pick up your phone and see how many eggs you got. <laughs> That's a real product. So is the L'Oreal Smart Hairbrush that made its debut on the stage. It is said to measure how hard you're tearing your brush through your hair. It warns you if you're brushing too hard. How much would you pay for the hairbrush? What is the price of the hairbrush? $200, $200 is the correct answer. First try. All right, and you, sir, 
I hope you have a dog because now you can track it. <laughs> hope you have a phone because now you can protect it. Hope you have ears because now you have wireless earbuds. Don't drop your phone. And an Apple what? No. Uh. Fitbit plays, pretty close. <laughs> Congratulations. You. Take your haul. <laughs> Ian Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Another huge development at the CES 2017 was the dawn of robots. There were many robots on display, lawn mowing robots, uh, window washing robots. There are, of course, uh, vacuum robots. Um, LG demonstrated a whole range of robots, including robots for the home and a fascinating human height robot for the airport. You show it your boarding pass, it tells you how much time you have, announces the gate, and says, follow me, I'll take you there. And you follow the robot. What is the first airport that will install these LG airport robots? O'Hare! Don't I wish. They should blow that place up. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Shanghai? Nope. SeaTac. Seoul is the right answer. Because they're a South Korean company, he used his brains. OK. All right. So for you, sir, we have a smart toothbrush. <laughs> Keeping with the thread of over the top, uh, we have a, another burrito finder. We have some beautiful, comfortable headphones. Uh, another Bluetooth tracker, a digit grip so you won't drop your phone, uh, a cardio arm wireless blood pressure monitor, another beautiful spec holder, and this is Robin Raskin's project. This is the faux glass. It is a Google Glass look-alike. It's a complete fake, but you can make everyone hate you just as much. <laughs> All right, come get your haul. All right, and then we have... Okay, at the Intel booth, they were showing a little bit of everything, little Internet of Things, little self-driving car, little drone, little wearable fitness. In one prominent display, there was a guy on a stationary bike, and he was wearing sunglasses to demonstrate what? What was unusual about the sunglasses? What? What's he saying? Earables? Wearables? Not quite. In the way back. You didn't raise your hand. What? Yes, there was a coach in his ear talking to him. I said you have to raise your hand or you're out. You're out, ma'am. Congratulations. All right, and you, sir, for sitting in the back, a black smart toothbrush, <laughs> Bluetooth tracker, digital phone grip, phone case, sleep tracker, Omron blood pressure, and some new lenses for your iPhone. <laughs> Zoom lens, wide angle. There you go. On eBay, that's like 30 bucks right there. Oh my! He, he is with the company that writes the coaching engine. Is that fair? <laughs> oh, he's from the same country as that company. That's a little better. <laughs> Anyway, you still win. Okay, the Microsoft HoloLens is not virtual reality. It's not isolating and sweaty and expensive and nauseating. Um, it is augmented reality. It is a clear glass visor. You can see the world around you, and it puts computer graphics on the world around you. So there's one university medical school has decided to replace its traditional cadaver lab entirely Instead, med students will wear HoloLens. They're already doing this. They stand in a circle around a blank space where they see a human being, not a dead one, because some people say doctors primarily treat living patients, but a pumping, electrical activity, real live human being in the anatomy class. The professor can peel him open, look at the diaphragm, look at the kidney. What med school is replacing its cadaver lab with HoloLens? You lost again. You don't get it, ma'am. You have to raise your hand first it's with the sunglasses. What? Case Western Reserve University. Woo! So, ma'am, the, the, the rules say that you can't yell out an answer. You have to raise your first. Raise your hand. Well, no, no, but then I have to call on you. I should have specified. Okay. 
All right, and your care package includes a Bluetooth tracker, a sleep tracker, a glittery spec phone case, a don't drop your phone thing, a brain hat, and a smart toothbrush. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. Okay. LG demonstrated an astonishingly thin new television set, the signature. It's like seven. The question is, what's your middle name? <laughs> you think you know the answer? Wallpaper TV. <laughs> no, that's next year's last gadget standing. Um, the 75-inch screen weighs only 18 pounds. It is so thin, there is not even enough thickness to plug in your cables to it. So it comes with a sound bar and a single wire goes between the screen, which must be mounted on the wall. You can't put it on a stand. It's too thin. It'll blow away. Yes. I like that word. <laughs> Not the question. The question is, in inches, how thin is the TV? Nope. 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 Yes, standing up. Nope. Nope. Point 0.1. Point 0.1 inches thick is the right answer. They've publicized 2.6 millimeters. I figured everybody would know that, but you have to give it in inches. It is point 0.1, a tenth of an inch thick, this television. Well done, sir. Now you won't drop your phone or your TV. Um, wearable power, this is a backup battery. Bluetooth tracker. Uh, oh, and wireless blood monitor. Another beautiful spec case, and Best of all, a smart tote bag. <laughs> when it gets wet, it turns dark so you can tell. OK, <laughs> congratulations, Sam. Well done. Hey, yep. We're doing great. We need to change the rules a little bit. Change the rules. That's absolutely right. We need to do one or two more trivia, but for bragging rights, because we have just given away so much stuff that our bags run us empty over here. Right, we, we do have some t-shirts. Do you want to try your fishing arm? So what are we saying? We're out of good presents? Yeah, we're out of good presents. OK. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's All right. Got You're playing for t-shirts now. <laughs> OK, so I guess these should be really easy questions. All right. First question is, how many questions have I asked so far? Six. Don't yell it out or you won't win in the middle. What? Seven is the correct answer. Heads up. Oh, man. I should be a professional baseball player. Um, how old am I? Whoa! You are good! Did you know that or did you take a wild guess? Uh, well, I did that on purpose so you'd have some basis. Uh, <laughs> okay, my first job when I was 17 years old was working in a fast food restaurant. What was it? No. I have more class than that. Yes. What? Nope. 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 Yeah, well, uh, raising your hand. Nope. Give you a hint. A little controversial the last couple of years. Sir. Nope. Chick-fil-A. You want to hear the jingle? The unique sandwich of America. That's Chick-fil-A. A golden breast of chicken on a toasted buttered bun. So come on by, give it a try. Seasoned up and delightfully fried. The unique sandwich of America. That's Chick-fil-A. They're anti-gay. I don't know. All right, ready? Oh, <laughs> the prizes got a little bit better. Really? This is a decent, this is, the, this is the one I own. This is the Fitbit Charge 2. This is the best fitness band on the market ever since Microsoft took theirs off the market and Jawbone stopped making theirs. <laughs> no, this is a really, really good one. All right, so this should be a really good question. Uh, all right. What is Steve Jobs' sister's name? Nope. You already won. Mona Simpson. 
No, I wouldn't do that to you. Here you go. Nice. All right, two more t-shirts. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, uh, the Nova special that airs on February 1st called The Search for the Super Battery, which I have just spent a year shooting and hosting, is about how we're going to solve the problem of batteries because lithium ion sucks and it blows up against your thigh. Um, so in this show, um, we met a scientist. He's a professor from the plastics industry who proposes replacing the highly flammable liquid electrolyte in lithium ion batteries with a thin sheet of plastic, which prevents any kind of short circuiting of this type that Samsung experienced, and yet still permits ions to go back and forth so it can be charged and uncharged. This guy is a plastics professor who's about to change the world as we know it, because now, instead of lithium ions, he can use lithium metal, which has five times the storage capacity. That means your Apple Watch can last for five days instead of one day. Your electric car can go 1,000 miles instead of 200 miles. What university is Michael Zimmerman a professor at? MIT? Yeah. MIT? MIT? No. Close. Just gave you a big hint. In the way back? Cambridge, Cambridge is in England. Yeah, <laughs> no. OK, yes, sir? What? Not Harvard? Yes? <laughs> no? You're looking at your phone. You should be able to look them up. Yes? <laughs> Tufts is right. Did you just guess? How'd you know that? Oh, she looked it up. All right, we're going to have to start making some rules here. <laughs>